Hi, and thanks for joining me for part two of the Kismet Square Poncho pattern. It's a free crochet pattern in three video parts. Here we are finishing round seven through 12 of this 12 round crochet square. And once we're done with those, we will move on to part three where um, they are joined together using a joining seam to make this four square adult size poncho. So we left off at round six on the last video, we finished round six, and now we're going to be starting on round seven. And to do that, we're at this, using the same yarn as last time, we'll chain four to start, which counts as the first double crochet plus chain one. And we're going to double crochet and chain one another time in the same space as we started. So the same chain one space as our join and then one double crochet and chain one in each of the next 11 spaces. When we've reached the corner of the square, and the corner is that middle space of those five chain spaces between the six trebles at the tip. In that middle space, we're going to work double crochet, chain one, four times. So I already had a double crochet, chain one. I'm going to work three more into that exact same space, which is the corner space of that increase. So here's our four double crochet plus chain one, and that's our corner increase. And after that, we're gonna do the same thing we did to start the round, which is double crochet, chain one once in each of the next 11 spaces, and then work four double crochet, chain ones in each of the four corners. And that's written now as the written pattern on the screen below. And then once we've reached the corner again, we'll double crochet, chain one, two more times into that initial space to complete that corner. And then slip stitch in the third chain of beginning chain to close off that round. Now for the next round, we're going to change colors and join the new yarn at the middle chain one space of any corner. So the middle space of every corner is the corner space. Um, there's three spaces in the previous round, so the second space will be the middle one. So one, two, three, and that middle one is the point here. So we're gonna insert the hook in that middle space, join our new yarn, and then chain three, and this will count as the first double crochet of this round. And we're going to double crochet in the same space. Next, we're going to work two double crochet in each chain space across the side of the square. So in every space that's not a middle corner space, just work two double crochet. No chains in between for the sides, just two double crochet in each space. So you can see I've got it laid out here to show you what it kind of looks like. And here I've reached the middle space of the corner straighten it out a little bit so you can see better. In that middle space of the corner and in the middle space of all the other corners, and then in this middle corner space I'm going to work two double crochet. So 
is one. And two. Whoops. Two. Then we'll chain two, and this will function as the corner space for this round. So here's our little corner turning chain. And then we're going to work two more double crochet in the same space. And this will give us our increase to continue on with the square shape of the pattern. There's my second double crochet of that set. And now that I've done with the corner, I will just work two double crochet in every chain space across, which is just repeating what we did at the first side and corner. And here's the round almost completed. We've got the last 14 spaces of the last side worked and we're ready to finish off that corner we started in the beginning. go all the way around to that beginning space and then in that beginning space I'm going to work two double crochet and then I'm going to use a chain and stitch join to land my hook in the middle of the final corner space And I'm going to do that by half double crocheting in the top of the initial first stitch. And from there, I will chain to begin my next round. And I did change up how I did the colors in these squares. I don't always do them the same way every time. Um, I used scrap yarns for this project, so I just kind of went with how much I had. But as you can see, I don't do the same color pattern every time. I've got some different yarns and I kind of change up where they occur in the square. Again, if you're changing yarns where it's not indicated, just join your yarn at whatever stitch or space you worked last in the previous round. So for round nine, chain two to start. This counts as the first double crochet with the last loop on the hook. We'll work one more double crochet with the last loop on the hook. As you can see, I've double crocheted and only yarned over and drawn through once. I left the second loop on the hook and I'm going to do the same thing again so that I have three double crochets with the last loop on the hook. And then I am going to yarn over and draw through all of those, which makes one cluster. After that, I chain one. And I'm going to work all of these clusters in, in, in these spaces between stitches. There's no chain space there, so I'm not working into a chain space. It's just the space between the other stitches. So just insert it right up under there to start your cluster. And get three of those double crochets with the last loop left on the hook yarn over and draw through all loops on the hook. Chain one, go to the next space between those stitches and do it again. So all in all, we're working 15 clusters of three double crochets. So that's three stitches with the last loop held on the hook clustered together. 15 times across the side of the square. Until we reach our next corner space. So 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 clusters. And here we're at the corner space. And here we will work another cluster. And then chain two, and that's our little corner space. Increase, and then another cluster in the same space. Draw through, and then we'll just chain one to start along the next side. And of course the side is gonna be the same, 15 clusters, and then we work that little corner increase that we just did at every corner. Now we're down to the last corner here. And we're going to do one more cluster in that same space where we put our initial cluster to complete the other half of this corner increase space. And then chain one, and then work a half double in the first cluster to join. If you were going to change yarn, you could go ahead and chain two and slip stitch and cut your yarn and tie off. But since I'm not changing yarn this round, I will just use a half double and then that way my hook is positioned where it needs to be. And then I can start round 10. So we'll chain four for round 10, which counts as the first double crochet plus chain one, and then double crochet, chain one, two more times in the same space. To work across the side of the square, we'll just double crochet in the next space and chain one 16 times. So one double crochet, chain one in every space across the side of the square. Once we reach our corner uh, space, we will place our increase by doing one double crochet, chain one four times in that, in that single space. So that's our corner, turning the corner here. So four double crochets with chain ones in between give us three spaces. So the middle space of that increase is now the corner space for the next round. And to end the round, um, we're going to double crochet in the next space, chain one 16 times, that's across the end of the, across the last side. And then when we get to the final corner, double crochet plus chain one to finish that set and then slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning chain three slip stitch so that you can cut your yarn and tie off so here we're joining our new yarn in the chain space before the corner space so there's our corner, middle corner space there, and we're doing the one right before that. I'm just gonna join my yarn, the simple stitch, no. Hang on. Okay, just the slip stitch, join. Don't work any other stitch in the first space. So join it and then move on to the next space, which is our corner increase middle space. And we're gonna do the petals again. So we're going to work one half double, one double. I'm gonna struggle with my yarn here briefly. And get that pulled out. And it goes barfs on me. Blah. Great. There we go. Okay, moving on. We've been at our half double and our double, so now it's time for our treble. That guy in there. 
yarn over and draw through the loop two loops three times. We have chain two. Then we're going to mirror back on the other side, so in the same space, one treble. One double. And one half double. These petals are pretty much the same as round three of the pattern in structure. They're just anchored a little differently. So what we're going to do to anchor this petal here is to just work a single crochet in the next chain one space and then in the next space work another petal. So it goes petal, single crochet in the next space, petal in the next space, single crochet in the next space. And the nice thing about this round is that there are no corner increases. It's just the same repeat all the way around. So even on the corners, just one petal per space. Petals for days. Okay, here I am with the round almost completed. I'm getting ready to do my final ship, um, stitch. Straighten my petals out here. As you can see, there we go. The petals are fine on the corners. We don't need a corner increase. I've got my final single crochet worked. I'm gonna do one more petal in that last open space. And then we'll finish that repeat and single crochet in the uh, first half double crochet of the round. Where if you're changing colors, you can slip stitch and then cut yarn and tie off. If you don't wanna change colors, it's uh, easy to start the next round by just slip stitching up to the space at the corner of the next petal. And I'm going to back the camera off a little bit so you can see the full thing. Nice. So here we are ready to start the next round, which is the final round of the whole square. So round 12 will join the new yarn in the chain two space of any Again, if you want to keep the same yarn, you can just slip stitch from the join of the last round up to this point. So I'm going to double crochet and chain one two times in the same space as my initial chain. Much like with round four, we're going to put three double crochet plus chain ones in each of the chain two spaces of the petals across the side. So double crochet, chain one once, double crochet, chain one twice, double crochet, chain one thrice, and then repeat for the next petal. And do that all the way across. And while I'm working on screen here, I wanted to talk a little bit about the Kismet Poncho pattern. Um, this full video tutorial in three parts covers the whole pattern, but it is also available as a written pattern with tutorial photos. Um, 
I did both for this design. <laughs> I really like having written patterns with PDFs. Um, a lot of people don't like written patterns though, and I've been getting a lot of questions asking me if I would do more full length video patterns. So I did both for the Kismet Poncho, and I think it worked out really well. But if you did want access to the written pattern PDF with all the photo tutorials and notes and everything written out right in front of you, um, that is available in my Ravelry and Etsy shops. Um, and it's a great way to support my art because paid pattern sales do drive most of my revenue. Um, so if you're interested in that, I would really appreciate you checking that out. There are links below the video to that um, shop where you can find those as well as to my personal um, blog, which is full of tons of crochet stuff. I've been doing it for years, so there's a lot on there. Um, and do please check it out. It supports my art. It helps me keep producing these awesome patterns and videos. And now that we've reached the corner petal, we're going to place one double crochet plus chain one six times in the same space. Six total times all in that chain two space of the petal on the corner. So I've got four. I'm gonna need the fifth here. Oops, had to check something out there, I guess. One, two, three, four, yes. So six total times. And then to get back across the next side, we'll do the same double crochet plus chain one three times in each petal of the side. And working those corners just like we showed with six double crochet plus chain one. And to complete this round using the same strategy we've used before, um, we're gonna just make the other half of that initial set of six double crochets. So we started with our beginning chain plus two of the double crochets. And now we're ready to make the other three to complete that corner set. So double crochet plus chain one two times in the next space. That's the same space as the beginning join. And then one double crochet and half double in the beginning chain to join. If this is your first square, you can cut the yarn and tie off here. If you are making one of the multiple squares and you already have a square, you can leave the yarn attached and then work the next portion, which is the joining seam, work that from the exact space which you ended round 12. So you're going to need four total squares, one way or the other, made. And then once you have those four squares, or as you are making them, you can continue on to video three, which shows how to do that crocheted join and then also how to finish the poncho. So I hope you'll stick around and join me for video three. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more awesome crochet patterns.